Hey, what's happening guys? Hey, there's not a lot of videos on the FLU 419, so I figured I'd climb up under here because it's about time for an oil change and differential change, and I figured out I'd point out a few things uh, that I've learned along the way. Uh, one, just an outstanding skid plate. I love that. Uh, as far as the differential change, uh, this appears to be a drain plug. And as you can see, that's a big old tool. I don't even think I got one of them. And your fill plug appears to be on the front side. This is the front axle oil pan. And then back here, can't quite, one of those is transmission. Either that one down yonder or this one over here. The other thing I noticed climbing up under here, and this is uh, gonna be a treat to change. If you notice, got some uh, cracking on this boot here. And a little bit of grease is starting to leak out. So that guy should be uh, a treat to change. And uh, that'll be the front and the rear that'll probably need to be changed. But uh, for the most part, considering this guy is a 1989, uh, I think she's holding up pretty well. The undercoating and paint is uh, pretty darn good. Uh, there is a little bit of surface rust here and there. But uh, I want to cover up most of that with uh, with some paint once I kind of sand it down a little bit. But uh, she's definitely a beast. And uh, took out a few uh, tree stumps today. It's also got a little bit of an oil leak there. I'm hoping it's just a couple of these nuts here might be a little loose. I'm hoping that I can tighten those guys up, maybe resolve that. But once they start leaking, they kind of always keep leaking. But uh, there's the backside right there. And uh, you can hear some of the air tanks kind of hissing away. But uh, anyway... Should be fun to wrench on, and uh, I guess it's a reason to uh, <laughs> go out and buy some new tools. So, anyway, folks, this is the FLU 419. The other thing I wanted to show you here, too. Uh, hold on here. I uh, got uh, brakes over here on this particular vehicle. We noticed one of these little sensors up here. That guy right there. I think it's a brake pad wear sensor it was just kind of flopping in the wind so we tied it up out of the way because she only had uh, uh, like 4,900 miles on it and as you can see there's been some leaking over here and that was because I ruptured uh, well I can't say I ruptured it it was just kind of dry rotted and she went but it was uh, get up under here <laughs> Oh, where is it? This hose right here. That's the little culprit that gave us all the trouble. That guy goes over to the hub and also connects with the differential right up in that little cozy hole right there via those banjo connections. And when you turn on your four-wheel drive, it pressurizes the differential unit and squirts fluid out into your hubs. Um... So uh, that was definitely an interesting fix. If you look in there, you see those little copper. Uh, get my finger there. The little uh, copper bushings, those are actually electrical connectors. Uh, it's the only thing I had that would compress down, the only thing I could find to fit. And uh, so far, they're working pretty darn good. And then this side, and the hose... Looks halfway okay. I mean, they had some paint on it. You know, hopefully that kept some of the elements away. But uh, the banjo fittings themselves are pretty rusted. So if I get a chance to order those, I'm going to order another set where I can get the parts. But uh, I think I might need some joints here too. It looks a little ate up. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. A little bit at a time. Yeah, that guy doesn't look too good, does it? <laughs> uh, well, that's part of buying something old, but uh, 
yeah, she's definitely a beast. And uh, I'm just digging it, man. Absolutely digging it. This guy's literally built like a tank. Uh, safe part is I got to get all new tools to work on this thing. So anyway, peace out, guys. Love you.